Hello and welcome to my fourth grade classroom. It is the second week of November, second week of the grading period. So let's see all the learning that went on in our classroom this week. Good morning, everyone. If it is good morning, if not, I hope you're having a great day. It is Monday, November 8th, 2021. Today we start a new week in my fourth grade class and it is also a short week since Thursday is Veterans Day. Yesterday, we switched back our clocks one hour. So daylight savings time ended for us here in the United States yesterday. And this morning coming into work, it is actually before eight o'clock, but I feel like I am super late to work. I don't know if anyone else who who has daylight savings experiences the same thing when we switch back the hour but yeah as I was coming in I'm like it feels like I am so late to work but it is very early in the morning I'm glad that I got here early I have a couple of things to set up the first thing is I brought back my chair pockets because I want to give my students some additional storage space so I'm going to organize the desk, give them a nice wiping, put the chair pockets on the back of the seats. That way I will have the groups in color and the students will know which group or team they belong to. And they have additional space, which I'm thinking of having them put their notebooks in those chair pockets so they have enough space for their textbooks inside of their desk. I also went to Dollar Tree and Five Below yesterday, but at Dollar Tree, I found the little organizers that I want my students to use inside of their desk so that they can have their pencils and any other supplies so they don't roll out of their desk and they stay in a neat place. So this is what I got. So I have my chair pockets down here. As you can see, I have a variety of colors, of uh, the colors of the rainbow, but these are the little things. So these are little organizers that you get at the kitchen section at Dollar Tree and they come three in a pack for a dollar, which is great. So I am putting one in each student's desk and the way it'll go, and this is kind of a messy desk, but the way it'll go, it'll go right here in the middle with all their pencils so that they don't fall off and they have a nice little organizational space. I'm basically trying to work on organizing all the students' desks so that it's nice and organized, they can find their things quickly. And also if they have any pencils to sharpen, they can just put their little tray on top of their desk and I know that they need pencil sharpened so I can go around and sharpen their pencils. I also purchased a couple of other goodies because my students actually won some rewards from the prize wheel last week. One of them had pretzels and this was only a dollar so he's getting the whole entire thing and another student asked for some art supplies so i'll give him an opportunity to choose between these pens or the metallic crayola crayons these right here so he can choose between these two which one he wants and i had another student win a prize where she wanted a cute stuffed animal so i have found this one it's really cute it's a little hedgehog and I also have a couple of other things that I got from Five Below. So I also got these little stands, which is, I'm gonna put one of the boards that's magnetic on display for my small groups. So hopefully I can get that through. And some other students also want some additional goodies, some sweets that they wanted, and tackies, of course. So those are my little things. If anything else, I'll show you if I haven't shown you yet and I saw something that I wanted to share. I also have to go ahead and put my agenda on the board as well as turn on some of my other lights. Just basically get everything ready for today. Oh, and put up my homework on the homework board. So a little couple of things to do before I pick up the students at the courtyard in about, oh wow, it's a long time, in about 25 minutes. So I have 25 minutes to do a lot and it still feels like I am really late to work, but I will catch up with you and let you know how our day went later. We've made it to the end of the day and I just came out of a leadership meeting that we were in from 3.15 all the way until now, which is five minutes to five. And I had told myself that I would get out of here by four because the time change again, things get really dark soon. So I'm going to quickly do this, make some copies and out I go to go home. But basically I wanted to give you a few of the highlights for today, starting with our agenda. 
So these are the different things that we ended up doing in reading. We didn't do the weekly review today because I had the students organize their desk, so that took some time. And the reading response we didn't have time for, so we're moving it till tomorrow. For bonus reading, we had a technology day. We moved writing over because I needed more time to finish reading. In math, we were practicing division. We didn't have time for the chapter review. And honestly, I feel like my students need a little bit more practice with division before I give them the test. So more practice tomorrow and definitely the review test so that they can take their topic assessment on Wednesday. Then we had lunch, recess, PE, and in science, we were reviewing Earth structures because they're getting ready to take an exam on that. And we didn't have time for a three to one response. So one of the things that I wanted to highlight for today is definitely what I was doing to review those earth structures. One of my favorite teachers pay teacher store is Science and Math Doodles. And she has some amazing resources for science and mathematics. And I went ahead and bought three different sets that she had for earth structures or earth science. So let me give you a glimpse of what it is that I printed out and I will link her down below. Her resources not only include a PDF, but they also include a PowerPoint where she puts the notes slide by slide so you can show your students what they can add to their notes as they are completing the science or math doodles. So we started with this one which went over the physical properties of minerals. It went over what they are and I added that they have a crystal structure there so they remember and then they took notes on the different physical properties of minerals. Then tomorrow we'll finish adding notes to weathering, erosion, and deposition and like I said, her resource not only includes this, but also the one where she includes all the notes so that you know exactly what fills each section. So this is the one for weathering and erosion, so slow and fast changes. And then we're going to go over the rock cycle, which the students will fill out, as well as the three different types of rocks so they can take notes on that. And then we're going to go over energy sources, non-renewable and renewable sources, which is what we went over and as well as comparing and contrasting renewable and non-renewable sources so i highly recommend these all right those are my highlights for today everything else was just you know reading the poetry from the book and having discussions about it and looking at the poetry structure i did show a vocabulary video on poetry so that the students can learn a little bit more about it and how it uses figurative language and we also watched the current events the weekend wrap from vocabulary as well just to get updated on current events that are happening around the world so that is it for today and tomorrow is another day hello everyone it is a new day i actually wasn't able to vlog yesterday since i didn't have a break to pick up the camera and i had to leave exactly at dismissal to take my car to the collision center to get an estimate for the repairs from the accident that i was in two weeks ago so i just didn't have a chance so let me show you the agenda and kind of give you a little highlight of what happened yesterday tuesday because right now i'm coming to you from Wednesday morning, right at the beginning of the day before 8 a.m. So let's go ahead and take a look. So for Tuesday, this was our agenda, working on the weekly review. We got to do some vocabulary practice for our vocabulary workshop unit. We reread the anchor text and started working on the reading response. We also read the pair text and compared it to the anchor text. We didn't get to the animal poem writing, so that'll be today. In bonus reading, we did some extra blends, the two extra blends. And then as you can see, we just continued on through the rest of the day, all the way to science, which we didn't get to do the topic test. So hopefully I can squeeze some time, if not today, tomorrow. On the board right here, we were working in math on division. So I've been telling the students to list their multiples so that whatever their divisor is, List or multiples to kind of help them do the division with regrouping. So I was modeling that for the students and here are the multiples of three for this problem. And that's what we were working on along with doing our chapter review with Attack the Castle. And these are the results of our Attack the Castle yesterday. So we didn't get to finish. So we might do a little bit more of review before the students take their test today. But the students actually chose Attack the Castle over Connect Four because they actually like the engagement and the excitement of this particular game more than Connect Four. They do like Connect Four, but Attack the Castle is definitely their first pick. And here is the weekly language review that we worked on yesterday so that you can see all the skills that we're going over. 
And these are the reading response questions that we were working on as it relates to the poems that we were reading. So the students pretty much finished and some of them just need to finish answering the last one. So they'll do that this morning while they also complete Wednesday for their weekly language review. And then in science, we finish our notes on weathering erosion and deposition and slow changes versus fast changes. We also went ahead and completed this diagram on the rock cycle. So let's see the different processes by which the different rocks get made. And we also took notes on the three different types of rocks. So that was our little highlights from yesterday, Tuesday. And now this morning, Wednesday, like I said, I am here. So I am going to erase the board, write out the agenda for today, and get excited for another day of learning with my amazing kiddos, which I consider them rock stars because they're awesome. They're just amazing, amazing students, people in general. So yeah, they're definitely my favorite part of my day, being able to hang out with them. I think they're really cool people. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and get that set up. And I'll catch up with you probably at the end of the day. Today is the day before holiday, so teachers can actually leave at dismissal when their students get dismissed. So that'll be something that I'm looking forward to. I was going to plan a grade level meeting, but then I forgot about that, that tomorrow is a holiday, so we get to leave today at dismissal. So I'm going to leave today early so that I can, you know, enjoy the rest of my day and not be spending a lot of time here in the classroom. All right, so let me get going and putting the agenda on the board. So here's the agenda I have planned for today. The students are doing a couple of tests today and hopefully we get through most of it. I know my last part of the day is very ambitious. I don't think I'm gonna get through all of that. That's why I put chapter three questions if time, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a very good day. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead, check email, eat some breakfast before I go pick up the students from the courtyard and get our day started. All right, friends, just made it through the day. Actually, it's been the end of the day for quite a while now. I should have left earlier, like at 2.15, but I wanted to send this important email to my grade level since we didn't have a chance to meet today and there's a lot of important things that they need to know for next week. If they're already planning, which we all are, right? Because we try to plan by Friday, at least in my school. I don't know if it is that way in yours, but we try to have our lesson plans done by Friday before we head off for the weekend. So I needed to make sure that they knew of these different things that are coming up. So actually for our agenda today, we got through pretty much everything. Did we? I think we did. I think we did except the chapter four division test for math. We ended up using most of the math time to finish our review game, and I feel like it was necessary, so I'm leaving it for Friday. We did take our progress monitoring for reading this morning and our science topic test for this afternoon, which was pretty good, and I even had time for the chapter three questions after we watched our Veterans Day video, so the students had an understanding of that important moment since we're celebrating it tomorrow. So, pretty good day overall. And yeah, I'm not sure what I want to kind of highlight today. The students didn't finish their animal poetry. They did start it, but they'll finish it on Friday as part of their do now assignment along with their weekly language review. And for our attack the castle, I wanted to show you our final results. So here's the final result. As you can see, Kingdom 3-1 with the least amount of attacks, but it was pretty even. And what I do is I just give the students Jojo points for participating. And again, it was a great review. And I also use Wheel of Names to select the kingdoms. And you just add all the different things that you need here. So if I add another one, it's another color. And if I add another one, it keeps going, repeating the same colors. Oops, I just knocked down my fan, my little handheld fan. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I use. And then I click on it and it spins and we get to see who is going to be the team that answers the following questions. So this is wheelofnames.com. So I'll link it down below if you wanna use it, it's a free website. So yeah, that was what we ended up doing today for math. And then I wanted to show you, 
I needed to find a way to kind of keep track of the dojo points that my students are earning and the rewards that they're earning as they go up in increments in dojo points. So as you can see, I already have a student that got to the 125 dojo point and got the sticker for that. So for every 25 or every multiple of 25, they get a sticker. And for every multiple of 50, they spin the wheel. And yeah, the students are really enjoying this. And again, I just wanted to do something. I did this on... Google Sheets in order to keep track of it. And I love the color coding, so I love rainbow colors. So yeah, that's just me. And yeah, just wanted to show you one of the things that I ended up doing. So that's basically all of the little highlights that I have for today. Tomorrow is a holiday, so I may or may not vlog tomorrow. It's my day off. I am gonna get up early to go to Orange Theory and then possibly have brunch, or like I mentioned, I may have mentioned that this morning, I can't remember. And then I have a doctor's appointment to go to tomorrow. So I may or may not vlog, I don't know. So we'll see. If anything, I'll see you on Friday. Good morning and happy Veterans Day, everyone. A special thank you to all the people that are in the armed forces, and thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your service. So I just finished a very intense workout at Orange Theory Fitness, boy, that was really tough. I have to admit, it was it was really, really hard, but I got through it. I got my 60 minutes. I think I got 27 or 28 splat points in the end. That's a combination of how many minutes you were in the orange and red zone, which is for optimal fat burn, basically. So yeah, now I'm getting ready to continue the rest of the day. It's 8.40 in the morning. I'm gonna get something to eat, I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna relax, and then I have to go to a doctor's appointment. So it's a regular checkup, so, oh my God, but I'm so exhausted, oh my God. This workout really kicked my butt. When I was coming out of Orange Theory and coming to my car, there was a bird on my car. I thought it was really peculiar. I believe it is an ibis. So yeah, I took a video clip of that, and then he flew away. <laughs> But anyway, let me see what else I am gonna end up doing today. I don't know if I'll vlog the rest of the day. We'll see. going to Publix which is my neighborhood supermarket because what I really was craving for breakfast and breakfast is not my favorite food or meal of the day I usually don't really like much breakfast foods so I ended up craving a Nova Lox bagel basically is a bagel with cream cheese and smoked salmon with red onion and capers and I was also craving avocados and tomatoes. So that's why I ended up going to the supermarket to get those ingredients. And the bagels were on sale, the Thomas bagels were on sale for buy one, get one free. So I got an everything bagel pack and a plain bagel pack. So I have enough to share with the family and hopefully maybe have something for tomorrow, Friday or the weekend. So yeah, now I'm gonna get home and eat. Hello everyone, I'm coming to you from Monday. Yeah, Friday didn't happen and I wanted to go ahead and kind of briefly talk about Thursday because the last time I left you, I showed you my bagel, which was delicious. It was awesome. After that, I had taken a shower and then I went to see my doctor and now I'm following up with my doctor. I need to get blood work done next week and then see him two weeks after that. And then I went ahead and spent time with my brother. We basically just hung out and played video games and that was pretty much the end of my Thursday. Friday, I came to school, I was ready to go. I changed the day, changed the schedule, put the agenda on the board, had the students work for their do now under desk, ready to go. And then suddenly I started to sweat profusely and I sat down and I felt lightheaded, nauseous, kind of weird, like if I was going to faint. So immediately I went to the hallway. My students thought I was 
letting them in because it was time to do that. But I went straight to the security guard that was monitoring the hallway and I told him that I wasn't feeling well. So I went to the office and they gave me something to eat. I ate some grapefruit, I ate a granola bar, and slowly but surely I kind of started feeling better, but not 100%. So they ended up splitting my class. So my students were split among three or four teachers for the rest of the day. And then my parents came, my dad drove me to the urgent care and they found that not only did I have low blood sugar, but I also had high blood pressure. So my pressure was 158 over 100. So they ended up giving me blood pressure medication for the first time. And even though I had eaten the grapefruit and the granola bar, when they checked my blood sugar, it was 91. So can you imagine how low it was before I ate something? So I wasn't able to teach on Friday and I spent the rest of my weekend just resting and relaxing. I've been taking my medication. So now I'm here today, I'm going to eat something and get my day started today i will vlog for the following vlog i just wanted to come in film this clip give you an update and wrap up this weekly vlog so yeah you know we have to stop and take care of ourselves and as you get older things like high blood pressure become an issue but it's okay i am monitoring what i eat i'm continuing to work out so hopefully that will improve my health overall so i'm very hopeful about that all right so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this weekly vlog. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day. And don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.